This is the best all-round super sports car money can buy, in our opinion. It's quicker and faster than many fully-fledged supercars, yet it'll happily drive you to the shops or even tackle a snowy road. It shouldn't come as a surprise though, as Porsche has been honing the turbo nameplate now for almost 50 years. That's 50 years of development data under its belt. So it automatically knows what combinations work and what combinations don't work. Here we're testing the regular 911 Turbo. We say regular because there's also the Turbo S that sits above it. Even so, this is not a tamed, watered down model. It's the 911 Turbo. That means under the back, behind the rear axle is a twin turbo flat six engine with monstrous power sent meticulously through to all four wheels. Around the body, there are specially positioned intakes and vents that feed and release airflow, all in the hunt for absolute performance and reliability. Every component on here serves an important role, striving for the same common goal. For the latest 992 generation, Porsche has increased the front track so it's 42 millimeters wider, with new 20 inch alloy wheels wearing 255 35 tires. At the back, not only is there rear axle steering, the track has also increased by 10 millimeters. New 21 inch wheels wear whopping 315 30 tires. Despite the truly phenomenal underpinning technical highlights, the cabin perfectly blends luxury and sportiness. This is a driver's office. The seats provide just the right amount of support and comfort, and the dash presents a clean and uncluttered array of infotainment functions. Of course, the driving position is absolutely spot on, and the steering wheel is just right in terms of size and feel, without too many controls on it to cloud your focus. There are seats in the back, but they are definitely best left for the kids. Out of curiosity, we did manage to install a forward-facing child seat in there, and it fit with no major issue, as long as you slide the front seat forward a bit. There is some storage space behind the rear seat as well, but it can be a bit of a pain to reach all the way back there. Under the bonnet is a 264 litre tub, which is about the same as what you get in some compact hatchbacks and SUVs. And then right at the back, you can raise the engine vent to access the vital service areas. Out on the road, it is such an incredibly well-balanced yet ridiculously fast machine. We can't express how capable it is in words. You have to drive one for yourself to experience it, and it can do it in all weather. The ride quality is firm, but totally acceptable for day-to-day -day errands. It's also very easy to drive in general, requiring no special care when it's cold, for example, while the eight-speed dual-clutch auto is the best in the business. We did some 0 to 100 runs without launch control, and you can see just how quickly yet smoothly the dual clutches engage and propel the car. According to our V-Box, it's not even that much slower without launch control. It's amazing. This is what it goes like.